hello and welcome to my youtube channel if you've not subscribed to my channel i highly recommend that you subscribe but if you've already subscribed to my channel i just want to say thank you for subscribing thank you for watching my videos thank you for sharing my videos and even liking my videos because if you like my videos it gets recommended to other users on youtube to check your dv lottery like if you want what do you need if you apply you got a confirmation number that i advise you to save so one you will need your confirmation number that you you like when you applied last year after you submitted they send your confirmation number you will need the confirmation number number two what you're gonna need you will need your year of birth because it will ask you to enter the year of birth and then number three it will ask you to enter your last name and then the last thing it will ask you either to put in some numbers or some codes at the bottom so that to show that you're not a robot you're a real human or a real person and then once you click submit voila like i was talking to a guy like last year he won the green card lottery after nine tries you know what that means right nine tries means that he applied for nine years before he won the green card lottery but what if he stopped the first year all gave up the second year the third year the fourth year the fifth year the sixth seventh eighth he will not have won the ninth time guess what practice makes perfect some people will win the first try but some people will just need to apply a couple more years and it doesn't make a difference whether you come here in 2023 or you come here in 2030 the america is still america like you'll find it the way it is like there's nothing that's gonna be changed so it's just, gonna, it's just gonna take some people a little bit longer but don't get discouraged like if you don't win the green card lottery that should not be the end of the world that's why in this video as much as i'm gonna show you how to do what to check your results on may 6th when you check just be positive if you expect like you know if you, it turns out to be positive results or if you don't win don't be discouraged don't go into depression don't go into anything like that because you know what you leave to fight another day hello guys so today i'll be showing you how to check the dv lottery results the results are coming out on may 4th so you need to be prepared to know how to check the results right so to find the website where to check the results you can just go to the website where you applied for the green card lottery to check the results alternatively you can just if you don't have a link saved somewhere you can actually just google so we we'll go to google and then we'll just um type you know dv lottery results check you can do even something like that and then it will bring you here so uh you can go here which is really quick because it takes you right to the website where you're supposed to check or alternatively you can go through the website where you used to apply you see like you applied this is where you uh, is the website that you used to apply last year so it tells you the entry period for dv 2025 was between october 4th 2023 and november so on may 4th then they'll open uh checking the results for dv 2025 but for right now what you can do you can check the results for dv 2024 uh to check the results so you just go to this website where you used to apply um and then you can just click check results so when you come here on may 4th where it says um entrant uh, status check it will be like here it will say 2025 entrance status check so it will be like active but for right now it's not because the results are not out yet it tells you the results are coming out may 4th of 2024 so we're gonna click on the check results or check status and then you click continue which will bring us to the page that we just had so I'm just gonna check the result of somebody that we applied for the green card last year who did not win so that is the confirmation number for the guy it's a real confirmation number that he used but he did not win so this is a real confirmation number so when you check on May 4th you'll be required to put in this information so you'll put your confirmation number which is right here and then you'll be required to put your last name which is right here and then you'll be required to put your year of birth which is right there and then after that you'll enter these numbers and letters here so i will try to put the letters and the number uh, 
so you just put this information here so if you're not able to read the letters and the numbers you can just put the speaker here and then it will just like go yeah so you know if you're not able to read the numbers then you can just use this little speaker here so and then after you put in your confirmation number your last name and your year of birth then you can click submit so this guy did not win if you do not win this is the response that you will get after you submit like i said this guy did not win so let's submit has and then it tells you based on the information provided the entry has not been selected for further processing of the electronic diversity visa program at this time please verify that you've entered all the information correctly which we did uh, so this guy did not win is the dv 2024 so i'm gonna give you an example of a letter that i'm just gonna you know bring it up um that the entrant won so in this case so let's just do an example of somebody who won the green card lottery so what happens if you win the green card lottery so if you win the green card lottery when you put the confirmation number your last name and your year of birth and then you click submit click submit if you won the green card lottery then this letter will show up so this letter you know it will have like the date uh that the results came out and then you'll have like your name on here it will have your uh, case number down here and then your case number also uh, you can find it right here so this is where you check your case number so if you win you're gonna get a letter like this but if you do not win then you're gonna get the message where you have not been selected and unfortunately a lot of people get the message that they have not been selected because 20 million people apply over 20 million people apply and then they only you know select about a hundred thousand and only 55,000 visas are issued so a lot of people unfortunately will get the first message where they have not been selected but then you know the lucky ones they will get a message or a letter like this that you know shows you that you know you've won the green card lottery so if you get this just count it as a blessing because it's not easy to win thanks for watching com and then after you google nafulaconnect.com it brings you to the landing page and to apply for hosting it's very easy because you can apply on any of these pages here so on the landing page it says welcome to nafula connect and then a little blab about uh you know what we do here and then when you go down the page you come down here it says apply for hosting so if you want you can just click here it says click to apply for hosting and then once you click here it just brings you to this page here and then um this page here it says like you know we're not providing a bit of support at this time because we are not doing that because we don't have any sponsors but then you see like you know the people that we've been hosting uh so you can meet a few people that you know we are currently hosting in new york and then if you come down here it says dv lottery winner sign up so this is a form that if you win the green card lottery, this is the first thing you should be doing, completing this form so that we get your application so that you can get in line. So here you just come to DV lottery winner sign up and then, and it asks you, have you won the DV lottery? Usually only if you win the green card lottery, then you apply for this uh, hosting. Otherwise, because if you've not won the green card lottery, even if you apply, we'll just void your application. So there's no point. So you just, you know, say yes. And then you put your first name, last name, and all these required fields. You see the ones that says required, you have to enter something there. The most important thing will need a confirmation number and then we'll need a case number because only DV lottery winners get this number. So to distinguish between somebody who's just applying to apply and somebody who really needs hosting, I know I need to see the confirmation number and your case number. So that way I know you won the green card lottery. And that way I know like even if I get in touch with you, you're not just wasting my time. I know you are somebody who needs a hosting versus just somebody who's coming on a visitor's visa or somebody who's just applying for this form uh, without winning the green card lottery. So everything else is important, but then your name, your where country where you're from, and then your confirmation number, we need that information. Also with your case number, I need to look at that to see when you'll be scheduled 
uh, to see like what is the approximate time you'll be arriving in the United States. So if I have to set up hosting, I know like what's your case number so that to help me plan accordingly. So you can apply for hosting there. Uh, so that's how you apply for hosting. And then like also like we went to the home page. Another way, like if you don't want to like click here to apply for hosting, when you go to guest and host pairing and click on that, it will still bring you to the same page that we just uh, looking. And then you can browse and look at other things like you can look at the paid services that we have, um, the basic package, premium package and the platinum package. So you can read and see what we do. And also, if you want to know like who we are currently hosting in New York, uh, you can meet uh, the previous developer winners who are already in America. So this uh, is a resource if you need, you have any questions, um, you can ask here because literally every page, if you go down here, it gives you a way to contact me. So you can just type your name and your message here, or you can send me to our official email, which is nafulaconnect.com. And then uh, one of my people will take a look. And then if it's something that, you know, I need to deal with, uh, then they will send it to me. So if you send questions about the DV lottery, I've answered all that in the video, so I won't get back to you. But if you need hosting or if it's something that, you know, with my limited time, I, I need to address, then I will get back to you. If you have any questions again, type in the comment section. You can go ahead and send a cash up or you can go on my website and you can donate. There, there's a tab that say donate. You can actually uh, donate on our website.